Okay. Happy Saturday, everybody. Hope you're enjoying a beautiful day. I am Christina Rue from HLC Bookkeeping and Office Services. And this is Krista Rue from The Same. We have been doing Saturday Solutions. I'm I was typing up the prelim number 52. That means this is a year. We've been doing it because we do it every week. That's right. So that was exciting to realize. I hadn't realized it's been that long. So pretty cool. Loving it. Um, and Saturday Solutions is about um, basically things that happen through the week. We would like to share things we've learned. So it's like lessons, it's life reality, it's joy, <laughs> it's happiness, it's sadness, it's whatever it is. Life. It's life. That's exactly right. So basically, HLC, Bookkeeping and Office Services, uh, we focus on people where, where they live, work, and worship, and we do bookkeeping and office services for that, and we give pointers on those three areas with HLC Saturday Solutions every Saturday, two-ish, shall we say, <laughs> uh, on Facebook Live. So here we are today. All right. I'm probably not going to be doing a lot of talking because I have a bit of a cold and I know people sometimes have trouble understanding me when my throat is this thick. However, your so. hair looks fabulous. Well, Look <laughs> something's that. working for me. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So let's recap last week. Uh, mm -hmm. We talked about of we're we're doing the SWAT. Oh, we have what? someone at the door. Oh, uh, oh. how about which that? is strength, weakness, opportunity, and threat. Um, today or last week was about opportunity external to your business. Um, number two, we talked about marketing products, tchotchkes, what represents you to others. And then we also, as a, um, as a, I don't know, I guess community service thing, we talked about strokes and what signs to look for. Mm -hmm. All right. So number three, so we're on number 52. Yep. Loving families here. Hello. Hi, everybody. Hey, little, little brother. brother. <laughs> he takes care of all of our Google stuff. Because <laughs> I don't like computers. Mm -hmm. But anyways, um, so the first topic is the SWAT mm -hmm. threats. Correct. And remember, OT is external to your organization. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the things we were talking about is the ultimate threat that nobody could anticipate was the COVID shutdown. Oh, yeah. Um, Completely external and unprecedented throughout the world. So nobody knew about it. Right. And that's mm -hmm. something which if you have other things in place, <laughs> you remember Kenny, um, <laughs> other things in place to help you through it. A lot of our people, we, <laughs> there's, there's Ryland. Um, we did a, we do profit first, mm -hmm. which is a cash flow system and um we helped a lot of our people through covid because we had money saved in the bank Correct. inappropriate accounts mm -hmm. so that when the shutdown occurred shutdown yes we could deal yeah, with it absolutely so it was all about preparation planning proper budgeting all Which the is what we talk about we try to help you with throughout the year so right um some other external threats are market trends you know oh, how yes. something mm -hmm. could just happen like uh what in our industry there mm -hmm. were 66 percent of bookkeepers retired within the last 10 years mm -hmm. so that wasn't necessarily a threat for us that's an opportunity correct um but you have to be on top of those market trends because what if it went the other way and 66 percent came into this industry well and we also had interest mm -hmm. rates that kind of went a big jump, yes, which is now changing jump. people's budgets Correct. and that sort of thing. So that's definitely a threat to cash flow. Right. And other things you should be considering is what's happening happening locally, politically, government-wise, mm -hmm. state-wise, federal-wise. 
Um, because those laws that change affect you and you Absolutely. have to know that. Yep. All right. Um, Oh, the next topic, topic number two. And this is a th could be a threat as well. So mm -hmm. this, this topic we're addressing because, it, you know, we just said the World Series, football season starting, and we want to talk about competition. There's healthy competition, right? It's people who do the same things you do, sometimes a little better, sometimes a little worse. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you end up in first place, sometimes you're in third, right? So competition is a great thing. It helps hone your skill set whether it's in sports or whether it's in business that sort of thing so what can you learn from your competition you can learn what to do what not to do you can also have tons and tons of ideas because not everybody does everything the exact same way now That's bookkeeping right. numbers are numbers right you mm. add them, you subtract them, you multiply, you divide them, okay? Numbers stay the same. But how you approach those numbers, that can be a skill that that accountant, that bookkeeper brings to the table. So, again, tax law, how mm. does that change? Are we expense, expensing it? Are we using mm. bonus depreciation? You right. know, these are things you have to know. Exactly. And things you want to look forward to mm -hmm. having that conversation with your, your business advisors. Mm -hmm. And then the, I also wanted to talk about graciousness in winning, because sometimes in sports, we don't see graciousness to somebody who has just lost something that was very meaningful to them or whenever there's undue celebration and taunting and stuff that's why there's a flag about it in football people <laughs> it's just right. not cool that's like right. you should not be taunting other people with your success right they their, put as much their... effort in you did exactly but... Right. It and just wasn't quite enough. That's it's all. It's the way the game goes. Sometimes sometimes it's you make it, sometimes you don't. So those are just things to really think about and kind of get in your mindset. And, you and also what gracious, if you're the loser? Yeah. You can also be gracious in losing. Because you, you don't win every contract. You should be shaking the hands of your oh. opponents. Nothing makes me worse than when people yep. storm off and go to the locker room. You know what? Show some class. Give some graciousness and shake That's the right. opponent who beats you right then and there. I mean, like, come on now, people. So right. just keep that in mind. Competition and business and life and sports, it's all good. It's all good and it makes you a stronger, better human being. But let's let's have some common sense and some some kindness to each other. Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. graciousness. Yeah. What? Because like when you lose, you can learn things. Exactly. So exactly. look at it that way. It's an opportunity. It is. It is. All right. And then our third topic today is off the, the shelf because it's the, the first shelf. weekend of the month. Yeah, so and this was Christina's pick. And this is a throwback. This is when, uh, like early, when we first uh -huh. went into business, we read this book. It's called Growing Your Business by Mark LeBlanc. And he just breaks down business simply. Simple. It's not basic. It's simple. And sometimes we have a tendency to overcomplicate business, right? And I was going through, because like I said, we highlight things we read. We come back and look at it. And I'm like, I laughed out loud because one of the <laughs> things he said here was basically the stress that we cause ourselves is usually self-imposed. <laughs> and that's so true. And why is that? Because if we step back and evaluate, we discover that we've deviated from the model and we're working on the wrong project with the wrong customer using the wrong product or with the wrong supplier or vendor. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so true. We're stressing ourselves yeah. out. Yeah. And another one of his nuggets of wisdom, This it's filled with it. This book is filled with it. It's an easy, easy read. It's not that's that right. big. Um, was about how how you can have distractions disguised as opportunities if you don't have your focus Ooh, in place. One. So like that is an awesome book. And like I said, it's for business owners and professionals who want to learn to sell and market their products and kind of keep it simple, people. Like address your clients. Stay in your lane. Yes, absolutely. So I we definitely recommend this book as a read. I enjoyed it. I'm gonna reread it, I think. Yeah. <laughs> like I was like, oh my gosh, it's so funny.
funny. Like, it's just so good. That's right. So good. All right. So that's it. That we was a great talk topics. today. Very yeah. quick one. So, mm -hmm. um, again, Kristen and Christina Root, HLC Bookkeeping and Office Services. Oh, yeah. I forgot to. 724 561 7460. HLCBookkeeping.com. Yep. And if you have to email us, office at yourhlc.com. Yep. And we're mm -hmm. here to help you and keep having a wonderful life and a be the best you day. can be for sure. That's all right. Have a great day. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye. Did I do that right?